सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम काउंट नंबर ऑफ हॉप्स सो बेसिकली अ फ्रॉग जम्प्स आइदर वन टू और थ्री स्टेप्स टू गो टू द टॉप एंड हाउ मेनी वेज कैन इट रीच द टॉप ऑफ एन एथ स्टेप एज द आंसर विल बी लार्ज फाइंड द आंसर मॉड्यूलो टेन टू द पावर नाइन प्लस सेवन सो बेसिकली देर इज अ फ्रॉग विच कैन आइदर टेक अ जम्प ऑफ वन टू और थ्री वी नीड टू टेल हाउ मेनी वेज आर देयर इन विच द फ्रॉग कैन रीच द एन एथ स्टेप ओके so if you consider n is equal to 1 so that frog let's say is initially placed at the bottom if it wants to go to the top which is at first right so it can take a step of 1 okay so my output is going to be 1 right because there is one way by which he can take a step of 1 to reach the top so that is going to be my output if n is going to be 4 my output is going to be 7 and these are all possible ways by which the frog can reach the top which is n is equal to 4 so my output is in this case is going to be 7 so i hope the problem statement is clear to you let's discuss this problem in more detail so let's say first of all if n is going to be 0 right and the frog is placed at the ground so the frog can stay here right and we can still have one way in order to reach 0 why we don't do anything okay we still be having one way right because for recursion problems you generally see let's say if i am need to tell all the subsets of a string a so what are all the possible subsets basically empty string is there a is also there okay so we say that there are two subsets which exist so if n is going to be zero that is similar to the case of empty strings so we still return now one now if let's say if n is going to be one i am at position 0 and i need to reach 1 i can take a jump of 1 so for n is equal to 1 there is also one way now let's say if my n is going to be 2 so how can we reach 2 i can reach via this step or i can directly take a jump of 2 so this is my one way right and this is my one way so total ways are 2 similarly for n is equal to 3 i need to reach 3 from 0 so either i can go by this taking one step at a time either i can go to 1 i then we take a jump of 2 or we can go to 2 and take a jump of 1 or we can directly take a jump of 3 so these are all the possible ways to reach 3 so for n is equal to 3 we are having four steps similarly for n is equal to 4 what are the possible ways basically let's say if i need to calculate f of 4 i can reach f of 4 from f of 3 for sure i can reach f of 4 from f of 2 by taking a step of 2 i can reach f of 4 from f of 1 by taking a step of 3 for n is equal to 3 you need you know there exist four ways from n is equal to 2 you know there exist two ways from n is equal to 1 there is one way so so for f of 4 my answer is going to be 7 now since we are told to give all the combinations or all the possible ways this problem will be requiring recursion okay and you know for recursion how can we optimize that we optimize that with dp but let's understand why we need dp here so let's say if i am doing calculation for f of 4 i will definitely give a call to f of 3 f of 3 will give a call to f of 2 f of 1 and f of 0 and similarly it will give a call to f of 2 and it will give a call to f of 1 f of 2 will give a call to f of 1 f of 0 and f of 1 will call f of 0 right so if you observe this and this are overlapping in nature okay so i don't want कि एक बार जब कैलकुलेशन हो गया है तो दोबारा उसे करें सो दिस इज द केस ऑफ ओवरलैपिंग सब प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो वी कैन ऑप्टिमाइज दैट यूजिंग रिकर्शन और यूजिंग डीपी सो नाउ सी हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द सॉल्यूशन फॉर लेट्स से इफ माय एन इज गोइंग टू बी दिस आई कैन रीच फ्रॉम एन माइनस वन फॉर श्योर बाय टेकिंग अ स्टेप ऑफ वन आई कैन रीच फ्रॉम एन माइनस टू बाई टेकिंग अ स्टेप ऑफ टू Similarly, I can reach from n minus three by taking a step of three. Why? 
because we are allowed to take either one step or two step or three steps. So my recurrence relation will be nothing but f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 plus f of n minus 3. So in this way we can solve our problem. And while taking the addition you should be doing a modulo. Why? Because it is mentioned in the problem that we need to output modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So there is an interesting property about modulo which is a plus b mod m is equal to nothing but a mod m plus b mod m whole mod m. And since we are having three things here we can break this down into this. A c mod m whole mod m right and you can expand this to this okay. So I hope the top down approach is clear to you. There also exists a bottom up approach for the DP problems as you know and my bottom up approach is going to be very simple basically my DP of 0 is going to be 1. Why? Because in order to reach 0 we need 1 step and we will be declaring a DP vector of size n plus 1. My DP of 1 is also going to be 1 right because from 0 I can reach 1 by taking one a jump of 1. DP of 2 is going to be 2 and for further we can run a for loop for int i equal to 3 i less than equal to n i plus plus dp of i will be nothing but dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 2 plus dp of i minus 3 and while taking the addition do modulus operation right and in the end we can simply return a dp of n so basically if you observe we are simply using a for loop which will be running till n. So my time complexity for this is going to be order of n and the space complexity is going to be order of n. Also there exists a optimization over this. Basically we need the last three variables right. So I can think like a will be storing dp of 0 which is 1, b, b will be storing dp of 1 and c will be storing dp of 2. Now in order to calculate dp of i basically my answer that will be nothing but a plus b plus c right and now my c will be updated to x in the next step but before updating c you should update a which will be updated by b, b will be updated by c and c will be updated by x and in the end we can return c right. So this is an optimization this will take a order of one space. So I hope you can do this optimization on your own. Let's see the implementation. So first of all we will be taking a dp vector which will be having a size of n plus 1 and we will be initializing it with a minus 1. So my answer is going to be of long long type and we can call the function count ways and we will be passing n and dp right. Now what my count ways is doing basically. If n is going to be 0 or n is going to be 1, I know for sure there is a 1 way. If n is going to be 2, we can return a 2. If my answer is already calculated, we can simply return that answer. And now what are the possible ways to reach n? Either I can reach from n minus 1 or n minus 2 or n minus 3. We will be basically summing up all and we can store that in our dp of n and we can return. And here mod is 1 in 9 plus 7 which is equal to 10 to the power 9 plus 7. And in the end finally we can return our answer. So this is going to be my top down approach. Okay. Now let's see the bottom up approach. Basically we will be taking a dp vector of size n plus 1. Here you can skip the initialization. Okay. Now my dp of 0 and dp of 1 is going to be 1. Right. dp of 2 is going to be 2. Why? Because in order to reach 2 we will be taking 2 steps. In order to reach 0 and 1, we will be taking one step. Now I can run a for loop. My dp of i is going to be nothing but dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 2 plus dp of i minus 3. And while summing up, we will be taking modulo. And in the end, we can return our dp of n because our answer will be stored at dp of n, right? So I hope you have understood this problem. If you have any doubts, write it down in the comments. Do like this video if you have understood. Share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel.